This is to help people with the setup of J trades. Uh, this will be a quick, quick short shortcut way of doing it. Um, first thing you want to do, I'm going to show you how to get to, of course, Jay's VIP setups. Um, during the beginning of the week, Jay will tell and post his trading levels after he's done his live feed up. Once he's done the live feed, he'll put that here. He also will put specific potential trades, uh, like today he put uh, in a long scalp and a short scalp, scalp and posted the exact trades. But in Mondays, usually, or the beginning of the week, he's going to give you a chart that you can open. Then once you open this chart, I'm going to bring it over here, you can copy it. And once you copy this chart, you'll be able to get to the levels, actually the layers of the chart. So do yourself a copy, give it a name. I usually give it a date. Uh, so of course uh, this will be 10-3 and then save it. Now I've already done that so I'm going to switch to that chart and this is the 10-3 J-level chart. And the first two trades that we were looking at, um, you can turn all of these these on and off by just simply, once you've made a copy, going over here to this levels and pull open up the object tree and it would be the different layers, actually levels, layers of the, the chart. And the first two that he posted was this short scalp and this long scalp. Now he's got this laid out on the four hour chart. The scalps we'll be looking at are on the 12 minute. So let's pull up Jay's recommendation for that. Um, you can wait till you get this recommendation or you can use the chart. Um, for the short scalp, you can pop open the specific, I'm sorry, this will be the long, long scalp. You can pop open this chart and pull the data off of here. But this is just a display. And what I normally do is then take a look at what Jay is recommending for those scalps. So this would be the long. Let's turn it on. And I have the long set up in there. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Sorry, wrong one. There's the line for it. I've set up two horizontal lines. So I'll recap real quick. There's Jay's long scalp. And it's showing us the exact data. Now you can double click on this settings for this. You can get your entry price. here $19,070 you look over you'll see this corresponds exactly to what Jay was talking about <clears throat> you want to take a look at the stop loss take a note of the percentage he's at a 0.32 percent stop loss and he's showing a 3.3 potential gain on this so in order to set that up as a active alert in trading view, take the horizontal line, drop it on this number here, but don't worry about it being exact. You can double click on it and then go in and change this number to exactly that number, the 19,070. Yeah, be impressed. Yeah, he can type on some days. And you drop the line right on it. Now, I have already dropped the line and done a, um, a setup on this. So I'm going to drop this one. Just get rid of it. And once I've set up this line, same thing, you, you set the coordinates for the $19,070. 
I give the line a label. This is strictly the line labeling. It is not the alert. But I give it some nomenclature here to describe what Jay was talking about. He was talking about this long scalp from the daily open. We go back and take a look at his chart. You'll see that he had daily open here identified. We can also turn that back on here on the daily levels. And you can see that by clicking on the daily levels, you'll see daily open here pop in and pop out. You can leave them on. You don't have to. But there's the daily up and the daily support and resistance. So once I've done that and I've given it a name, I'm then going to set up the signal for it inside of the portal. So I'm going to bring the portal over here onto the screen. And I set up, I've already set up a strategy for this particular one. And you'll see that this, this one here. So you can edit that from here or you can edit from the signal. And I've set up the title. Let me go back to here. I'm going to drop this out of here. And once you do this and you set this up, you want to edit the horizontal line by setting on a trigger. Now this will create a trigger, but I've already got one there. And I'm sorry I call it a trigger because the database work, but it's a, an alert inside a trading view. Now we're setting it up on the four hour chart. We're looking for reaction on confirmations on the 12 minute, but it, it doesn't matter. Your confirmations are what is what will make the uh, trigger work or not work. So let's go back to the portal. You can see that what I've done is I've given it the name. I just double click on open this again and I'll copy it. Come back to the portal and I just cut and paste this right in. And you can see that I've already done that. I just cut and paste it in as my strategy name and as the label name. Now I am trading Bitcoin USDT off of the USD chart. And that's primarily because they move in tandem most of the time. You can trade USDT if you want to, but you need to have money in there as Bitcoin instead of um, US dollar tether. Uh, the signal type is open. Um, this particular one we're looking at, of course, we're looking for it to go from here up. So we're looking at a long. So we're going to take a long. I'm going to do the market open. I'm going to use 2% balance of my account. I'm going to leverage at 35. This is totally um, up to you. Once this gets put in to the trade setup inside of Discord, you are free to copy the code into your alert and change the level of balance and the leverage uh, strictly to your liking. I put my stop loss at 1%. If we look back at what I'm gonna close this, what Jay has here is he has 0.32. He could, really this could be a half a percent. But I put my stop loss at one. That's something standard I do. And extra stop loss is at 0.125. Now the very first take profit your stop loss will be moved to the entry, the entry price. Your next take profit, this will cause the stop loss to be moved to just a little bit short of the last take profit, which will leave you a little room if it does close out. It will, um, my screen just, <clears throat> you'll still be stomped out with a little bit of profit. Um, I also use the retry function and I'm going to go ahead and get into the, the um, trigger so I can show you where that's at. The message for the trigger down here and I'll show you this again the code on the retry I'm telling it once you hit that price level check the confirmations See if they're true. If they're true, the trade will be placed. If they're not, try again six more times at an interval of delay of 30 seconds between the attempts. 
that's all it does. If it does not work after three minutes, six tries at 30 seconds each, the trade will not be placed. Now the take profits, um, I've pulled those from a standard um, take profit that I use, but this being such a uh, short move, this would be the total of about three and a half percent. I've set it up for at 0.75 percent, take 30 percent of my position, and the prof, excuse me, the neck, the stop loss will be moved to entry. At the next at one and a half percent, take 30 more percent out. And I'm telling it from that point, don't move the stop loss. And then at the very last, I'm only taking three here. At a three percent move, take the other 40 percent. Now I'm adding in confirmations. Jay recommended that. We're looking at 12, moment, 12 minutes and down on bearish divergence. And that translates, divergence translates into momentum in the bot. So I'm putting in 12 minute bearish momentum, true. And since he said and down, I'm putting six minute, sorry, bullish momentum, true, since we're looking to going up bullish. And of course, you can save your strategy. Mine's already saved, so I'm just saving over top of what I have. Give it a couple seconds. So then I have my bot for testing and for my production set up to this name. Use your bot that's tied to your test account. Recommend that you test these strategies before you do any live trading. And then you retrieve your strategy. Now this is, uh, of course, your webhook. So we'll take this step by step. You're going to drop a line. Give the line a label, set the coordinates at the price that you want it to trigger at. I use my longs as green, you can, and my shorts as red. Pretty simple. Now I like to have my confirmation, my start confirmation that I call it, is that once it gets to here at my price level, I want it to trigger once it goes below and comes back up. So it crosses up across the horizontal line. Well, I want this to occur once. Uh, as far as the timing, since today is already, oh, sorry, the third, I'll usually just push it out to this Saturday. If it doesn't get triggered by then, or if I don't turn it off, it will expire. So I want to notify the app. I want to show a pop-up. And from there, come over here and copy your URL on your webhook. Copy. Highlight your whole URL in case you had something else in there for testing. Paste it in. And then this is the code for everything that we set up on the strategy. This is where if you wanted to make changes, you can, but I'm going to simply copy it. And I place it in here. And paste it. Now a couple things you might want to do if you want to be absolutely sure you're not making typing mistakes or copy copy paste mistakes is to copy this whole thing, select all, copy, and then go to the JSON editor web page. If you don't use the JSON editor inside of the portal, which can be done there as well, you can turn this edit JSON and you'll see if your code is good or not. But you can always pop up this JSON editor, paste it in, and validate. If there is any syntax errors in your code here, this will not validate. Right now it's telling me that it's valid. Usually not a problem if you cut straight, cut and paste straight from it. But once you've done that, you're good. So we've moved the, the date over here, the label. Um, I also, be careful when you're copying my label in the code, you'll see it down here in the code. Just because this alert name is there, doesn't mean that's the label of the alert that will show up in the trade, in your log. So double check whatever 
name you want to give it, whatever message label you want to give it, I keep them the same. But this is what will show up in the in your uh, bot log. Let's take a look at that. Over here is my Crypto Fusion bot log. And you'll see that I traded one that I was doing earlier that was called Bitcoin Short Scalp Standard. Just one of my strategies, it was standard. That's what will show up there. So this data, 10.3, or this label, is what will be shown up here as far as the trade. That's how you keep track of them. So I've done that. I've saved it. Boom. It's saved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now that horizontal line, I can give it a different name here if I want. Oops. Now I did the whole thing. Escape out of that. <laughs> um, I, you can go as far as labeling these. Um, I don't spend a lot of time doing that, but you can. So you can see that has the same level. So I can turn it on and off. And I'd recommend once you get them in place, lock them down. Because if you grab that line and move it, it could cause the, uh, it will fire at whatever level you move that line to. But now I cannot move it. So that's simply how you get the data, the setup from Jay's trading levels that he gives you for today, like this one today. We opened it up. We'll review real quick. Once you have Jay's template or his chart, of course my connection is slow. You want to copy it. Again, my connection is slow. Oh, there it went. And save it. Give it a name of today, for example. Once you've done that, you then have that available to you. You should, well, then once you do the copy, you'll see this object tree, which gives you the different objects that are in the, the chart. I like to call them layers. <clears throat> but you can turn all of these um, levels on if you want to. You can look at all the individual fibs, all the detail, or you can keep it off while you're working on a specific trade. So that was the long scalp. Here's the short. So I'm going to turn the long scalp off. That's one set up. And I have already set up the long scalp. So again, you can see the process is the same, except this one has a, a lot longer, <coughs> sorry, a larger um, potential run for it. It's almost a swing. It goes a little bit over 8.12%. So the setup on it is slightly different only in that I've made this to take profits a little bit further apart and those again I work those off I'll just show you I work my off of a basic template for unless something else I'm doing for scalps I set up five PTs I usually don't let it ride I usually give the last PT uh, a profit amount to take so 2% of the balance of your account to 40 leverage. And I put my stop loss at uh, 1%. And then swing trades, you can see the difference primarily here of uh, scalps or is where you do your take profits. The percentage and where you take your take profits. Again, I usually don't let ride. If it's 8%, uh, I'll put 8% on TP5 instead of 5 or if it's Potentially longer, I might put it at 10%. But at that point, I'm going to take profit, and I'm going to bank it. I'm going to run. That's just notes off of from me. Uh, you can set up your own strategies as far as where to take profits. Again, you'll see that I've um, given it a name. I could have uh, easily gone here and copied this. And labeled my line, cut and pasted the code, saved it, and it's there. So again, 
I turn on J's number two. And two. It's got one. It's got two. Oh, it's it's off to the side here. We're looking at a four hour. No, I'm leading you astray. I apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a long and a short. That's why I'm confused. The long scalp, this one that I just discussed, sorry, and then the short scalp. There it is. I apologize for the confusion. So there's the short coming up to this level, coming back down. Turn the short off, turn on the long, long coming here to this amount, and going back up. And that is basically it. Now we wait for the market to do its thing and go from there. I hope that's been useful. I will try to go and go through some a little bit longer recording, a little more detail on some of the strategies and setups, but that's basically how to get J's setups. J levels specific trades to uh, into your trading view to take a trade. If you have any questions, please let me know.